Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this week of Weekly Talks, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Android tablets, are they dead and is there any future about it? And uh, the thing is that uh, as of now, Android tablets are simply not doing that great. I own a couple of Android tablets and uh, to be frank, I would say if anybody uh, suggests me uh, regarding a tablet, I would uh, suggest them the iPad because I also own the iPad. And the problem I feel for Android tablets is that uh, the uh, one second guys, I'll just mount it over this monopod so that my hands can be free. And uh, by the way, I'm recording this uh, video with the HTC Tense uh, front facing uh, camera. And in fact, this topic was suggested to me by GIT back uh, via Twitter. Interesting topic. And I've owned uh, both the, and uh, what do you say, Android tablets and uh, even iPads. And I would suggest as of now currently, if somebody asked me uh, for just a tablet, I would uh, rather recommend them an iPad over Android tablet. The simple fact is that the problem I see with Android tablets is that uh, tablet optimized apps are actually very less. Even for major apps like Twitter, etc., they are nothing but smartphone apps. And on an Android tablet, they just blow up. Uh, so it's just wasting the real estate. Uh, so if you're looking for quality, what do you say? Uh, tablet optimized app, uh, still iPad is leagues and leagues away ahead. And I think so that is the, one of the main factors that Android tablets have failed. It's not because of the hardware. We had great hardware, for example, Sony introduced great Xperia uh, tablets, uh, very high end with all the bells and whistles. Even Samsung had their uh, S lineup of tablets. In fact, I own the uh, Galaxy Tab S 10.5, fabulous screen. But the problem is uh, the software, uh, specifically tablet optimized apps are simply not that uh, great. Also, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, as of now, Till now, uh, Android does not have native slip, uh, split apps uh, integration. That is coming with Android N. And some of you might argue that will really usher uh, Android tablets. I don't think so. Uh, that will uh, really push it that much forward. Because if you notice, most of the Samsung tablets already do support that uh, split screen functionality. Uh, but still, again, it's the qual lack of uh, quality apps uh, that is holding back the Android tablets. And it's up to the developers to actually push it, I would say. Uh, another thing that I feel uh, Google can do this is that if they integrate in the future versions of Android, or I don't know if they release a specific new Android version specifically for tablets, which is a mix of Android and Chrome OS, uh, then I feel uh, Android tablets can really uh, go berserk. For example, then we can have hybrids like the Surface Pro, etc. You have a tablet, you have a smart keyboard, you just plug it in. And it, rather than being just, a, what do you say, a simple Android device, you can actually do productive apps and stuff with that. So I feel if uh, Google and other manufacturers try to push it in that way, yes, the problem is that they won't be that, uh, what do you say, cost-effective tablets if they go that route. But I feel uh, manufacturers should start taking risk and do something like that. For example, there is a certain uh, niche audience that require hybrid devices. And I feel uh, if uh, Google uh, tries to combine, what do you say, the Chrome OS and Android, then it can be a very viable uh, option. And if the manufacturers really produce uh, uh, good hardware for that. What do you think about uh, this? Uh, do you own an Android tablet? If so, uh, if you, uh, how long have been uh, you been using it? And uh, do you plan to again uh, upgrade to a new Android tablet? Would love to know uh, your thoughts about it. For me personally, uh, I had the Nexus uh, 7. Actually, my daughter was using it. Uh, it went bad. Uh, the battery was just simply not holding the charge. And uh, when I asked my daughter, uh, do you want a new tablet? She said, no, I don't want a new tablet. Just give me an ordinary phone. So and so we didn't move to that. I personally own the Samsung Galaxy Tab, uh, what do you say, 10.5. Now I think so it's more than two and a half years old. Still, uh, still the screen uh, quality is really good. Nice for watching movies and stuff. But apart from that, I simply don't use that much uh, that tablet that actively because of the lack of apps. It's just the smartphone apps that are sort of uh, blown up. So would love to know your thoughts about it. And that way I, I would uh, seriously say I prefer the iPad as of now uh, if somebody is looking for just a, a tablet. I'm not an Apple fanboy or something like that. But yes, if you really need good quality, uh, what do you say, apps for your tablet, 
iPad has a far better collection of uh, apps. So again, would love to know if you own an Android tablet, how frequently do you use it? And do you plan to actually upgrade it uh, when it sort of uh, dies or something like that? Or would you move to an iPad or something like that? Would love to know your thoughts about this same. So guys, that's it for now for this uh, video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.